Welcome to the Rifle Specialist. I'm Steve Schwartz here with Bragging Rights Precision and Reloading Journey at SHOT Show 2024 here in booth 70430 in the Caesars Forum. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Rifle Specialist and what we make. We make Precision AR-15s in 5.56 and 300 Blackout primarily. We also offer 243 Ruger, 458 SOCOM, and pretty much anything that'll fit in the AR-15 receiver. We also do bolt action rifles. Uh, we have a whole new line coming next year on our own receiver, but right now we built them on Remington 700s that we've blueprinted and refaced. We offer everything in Bart line barrels. All of our AR-15s are sub-MOA, from short to long. We do them in a range of as small as eight inch barrels and as large as 24s. The Omega here is our pride and joy. It's a one MOA, 800 yard, 24 inch bull barrel. It's one and eight. This is our design with our receivers. I'm gonna show you in just a second why our receivers are what you want. This gun does this with out of the box ammunition from Berger, 77 grain factory ammunition, one MOA at 800 yards. Obviously hand loading, you know, you're gonna make a tighter group but we're trying to offer something that the entry-level long-distance shooter who doesn't necessarily hand load yet can take out and really get precise shooting at the range. Now, I'm going to bring you over here for a second. Three, two, one. So over here, we have all of our AR-15 short-range weapons. We offer them in pistol as well as SBR. We offer service rifles. Our service rifles have the standard step-cut barrel. And these have carbine type handguards offered with front sight base, as well as a railed gas block. These are same plane ra rail gas blocks. You don't need any weir si weird sights that have different heights that cost a fortune. That steps up from there to our EQR. This is the Echo Quiet Rifle. It's lighter than you would believe. Normally I like to hand this to the customer because even after I say that, they're still surprised. This thing is under seven pounds with a can on it. It's 300 blackout, nine inch barrel, offered with and without the suppressor. If you shoot it without a suppressor, you have to buy one of the inert cans because the barrel does end inside the handguard. You don't want to blast the side of it out. This is a great gun for uh, people who do either entry for law enforcement or for uh, hog hunters because it's got a nice continuous rail for night vision as well. On top of that, we offer uh, 5.56 as short as 8 inch and 300 blackout as short as 9 inch. So these are SBRs, we've also got them in pistol form. Same gun, just pistol versus stock. So tax stamp versus not. And then we're gonna swing you over here, show you some more stuff. All right, so over here, we've stepped up a little bit in size. This is our Echo rifle. It's offered in left hand as well as right eject. Left hand eject is only a $150 add-on to your rifle. So it's very affordable, we keep it in stock. So unlike a lot of places, lefties don't have to wait any longer than anybody else. So we have Right here, you're looking at 300 blackout and 5.56. We have 15 inch as well as 12 inch handguards for them in M-Lock. The seven inch handguards you saw on the other side are what's used on all of our shorter guns. This is another one of our service rifles. We also offer them in the full colored MOE package from Magpul. You can get all the various colors. Um, FDE, there's even a pink one. Down here, I'm just gonna bring this up into the, into the picture for you. This is another one of our Omegas. This is the shorter version in 20 inch. You'll notice something unique on the bottom here. So we offer, the, we offer as an accessory, this is the Arca Enhanced System from Kadex. So it's the only thing on this gun not 100% made in the USA. It comes from Canada, our 51st state. What's nice about this is, everybody's familiar with Arca rails these days. But what's unique is these notches in here. So what I'm gonna show you next on the Omega is how things lock into them. So we're back here with the Omega because I want to show you a little bit more about that Arca system. So everything just locks onto it. So this right here, this isn't even made by Kadex. This is Area 419's rail. Still snaps right on with the Garmin. On top of that, I've got their bipod on here at the same time I'm on the tripod. If you look in here, you see these two little pins. They're what lock into those grooves that I showed you earlier. They're what makes it under recoil, not move. A lot of the Arcas, with a, especially with the larger calibers, but even over time with the 5.56, you'll find that it'll actually start to slide on you and everything that you've set up has been thrown off. So on top of that, you're still also on the tripod with the Arca system. Pops right off, ready to go. Now you can just shove it in your tree. You can put it on like I have on the table here, on the bipod, and you can just switch between them. 
and then on the on the tripod here, as soon as I get that locked back on, you can still just move it around. It takes the full weight. And so what it does is it puts you behind your gun with absolute control of keeping yourself right on the target. And it will not slide under recoil. So the other thing that I want to show you, which causes me to take you back over here again. All right, so back over here again. What I want to show you now is why you'll like our rifle better than others. Everybody makes an AR-15 these days. And if you're going to make a mil-spec gun, how do you differentiate? So first of all, we're 100% made in the USA. Everything about our gun. Second, you'll actually find the made in the USA seal right there injection molded in my stocks, because even my plastic is American made. So I mentioned earlier, this was a really light gun. Randall has not touched this before. You ready? I have not. Whoa. See? I was expecting. He didn't fake that. <laughs> no. I asked him to join me over here because I need a human to look at it, think they know how light it is, and then discover it's wow. lighter than that. So this is the lightest thing I know of anybody makes with a can on it that holds our level of precision. That's awesome. There could be one out there, but there's certainly not a lot of them. Second thing I want to show you, oh, actually, I can just do it with the same gun, is I just wanted to show the upper and lower mating. So the number one way to increase precision on an AR-15 is to get rid of the slot between the wobble and the upper and lower. I want you to feel it, because if I'm doing it, it doesn't count. So grab oh, yeah. it right here and grab it right here and try to wobble her. No, it doesn't. Nothing on any of them. So this same receiver set, the upper and lower, is in my most expensive gun, the Omega, as well as my most affordable service rifle. Doesn't matter. They all are based on that. So they're yep. all going to maintain that level of accuracy. No wedge is needed. That's right. So inside, everybody's saying at home, OK, well, he's got like a screw in there or a weird rubber thing or it won't come apart. Came apart with my fingers like it should. And inside, I don't know if I'm messing up your focus, but there's not a thing in there that doesn't belong in there. They're just machined correctly. OK, admittedly, that was a machine gun. So there was some extra stuff in there. but. <laughs> Same goes for every one of these things. Doesn't matter which one I pick up, no wobble. They pop apart with your fingers just like they should. Inside, no surprises. Yeah. They're just machined correctly. But every I, one of our guns. I picked up two of those yesterday yep. when we were by here. I think it was those two, and I was just thoroughly amazed. Same thing goes for our pistols. Um, the pistols, the SBRs, the Omega, everybody's receiver set is the same. Everybody gets that same level of accuracy, regardless of which level of weapon they're shooting. I treat everything here like I've built it for law enforcement or military to risk their life with it. It needs to work every time, not most of the time. It needs to be reliable and accurate. And every gun you buy expects that whether you're going to keep it in the safe for the rest of your life, oil it up and stare at it, shoot it every single day, or just take it out one time because someone's trying to kill you. The gun built here is meant for that. It's meant to always work. We have a lifetime warranty. It's my lifetime. I lost a lot of weight. I'm going to be around for a while. And I don't care if it's been sold to someone else. If we made it, we'll take care of it. If you broke it, we'll fix it at a fair price. Otherwise, we're just going to fix it. Simple as that. Last but not least, I'm going to introduce to you my bolt action. So we're going to swing right on over here. So over here, I want to introduce you to my bolt action. Now. This is our original prototype version. It's built off of a Remington 700 receiver that we blueprinted. We buy them in the white and reface the action, blueprint them, and uh, redo the bolt. But what I'm introducing you to here is the beginning of our own receiver coming next year, where we're going to be offering the full range of everything as small as 223, all the way up into 300 Norma Mag and 338 Lapua and 338 Norma Mag. We're going to offer everything up to there. and going to be offered in Bartline barrels. These right here are Cerakoted. We're also going to offer nitride options as well as Birdsong Black Tea. Our standard is in the, in the uh, KDEX chassis, which is pretty much offered in everything in the entire KDEX uh, Cerakot rainbow. Any color you can think of is available. Th this right here is the uh, dual strike chassis. It's a little heavier. This is for more of a competition and long range shooting gun. There's also a hunter style chassis, which is much lighter and easy to backpack and take into the field. You're going to notice here, on this one, unlike the, K, uh, the other one, this is also the AccuTac bipod. We offer both companies. There's a little preference. Everybody has one. Both are available. Uh, they can also be Picatinny mount like this is, or those AES rails I showed earlier. They also go on these KDEX chassis. They use the Accuracy International standard size uh, magazines. 
and there's also some uh, mag poles that actually fit it. And over here, I want to show you one extra thing. So you're going to see an unusual grip and a contraption. So the unusual grip here, this is a vertical precision grip, and I'm going to show you in a minute on the other gun, the back side of it, it's just easier that way for your, your camera. But this precision vertical grip allows you to position your hand in the correct place in order to use a bag. So you'll see I have skis here, and I have a bag under here, and this is the adjustable bag rider, which comes from adjustablebagrider.com, made by my buddy Dave. And these bag riders allow your gun, when you fire it, to slide. So that if you're holding it properly and there's no friction created, your gun, as most competition shooters will tell you, should never really be touching you while it's moving, and it'll slide straight back and forth. We offer this actually not only on our bolt guns, which is where they're typically seen, but on the Omega. And we're gonna look at that in just a second. The last thing I wanna note is, um, while right now we don't have all of these calibers available, we'll be ready to take orders on those coming this summer, and those receivers will be ready by the fall, and then next year, all, the entire caliber line will be ready for SHOT Show. So then I'm gonna take you back over for one more thing at the Omega. Okay, so welcome back to the Omega. So I just like showing it to you. But here on the end of it is a Magpul PRS stock. And I mentioned earlier the adjustable bag rider. So Dave actually makes these at long shot precision for every version of every kind of chassis and every kind of stock under the sun. Um, we actually install them for everything you can think of. And so we've added this new this year for AR-15s. And so this tiny little precision movement allows you to raise your gun up and down and then glide it on a rear bag. So the idea is that you can actually now treat your long range AR-15 exactly like you would your bolt gun. And for competition, for real long range shooting, you need it off onto a bag and either rests or the ski feet like you saw earlier on the bipod. And these KDEX ones are also available with ski feet. And on the back side here, I'm gonna swing this around. This is the other thing I wanted to show you. So on the vertical grip, there are multiple sizes of these that come with it, thumb rests. And so the idea is, and I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna put my hand on it. In precision shooting, can you see this correctly on the camera? The, yeah, let's use you as my sample. The correct location for your thumb is actually over here so that you're not gripping around the back. When your hand is around the back, you're actually creating uh, friction and you're preventing the gun from sliding back and forth. The idea is we want a, a, ver a perfect horizontal recoil back and forth like this. So you're not interfering and your follow-up shot is actually still right where it was. A lot of times your hand being wrapped around it actually is the friction that prevents you from still being pointed at your target. So your thumb will go right up here and you have a big hand so this is fit right for you actually. But it comes with uh, three or four different sizes I believe of little thumb rests that they screw right into the grip for every person's hand size. And that allows you to give correct hand position on these guns when you go to shoot. That's pretty much everything I want to show you. So it's a 100% American made rifle, made right in East Tennessee, with a lifetime warranty and a precision fit that's harder to find in these mass produced uh, factories. But even though we're small, we actually do have a decent amount of stock we can service people usually in two to three weeks at the most. You're not gonna wait a year to get things from us. You're not gonna wait six months. And when things get busy and crazy, we try to service all of our customers that we already have. And if you have a local dealer who's already stocking our product, they're gonna to continue to get their flow. We don't just you know, try to gouge people when things go crazy, because we all know with the AR market, all of a sudden, everybody's out to get them and the prices shoot up into the roof. We don't do any of that. Our price is always the price. When we have raises, they're a couple of percent each year as materials cost more. But we try to be affordable within reason on a fully American-made product, and we try to support a lot of American-made companies. Almost everything aside from those KDEX rails and tripod that I showed you are American-made, and we're at least North American-made on the tripod and the rail. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you about. Um, I do want to introduce uh, Dave and let him tell them the rest about the, uh, the uh, long shot precision adjustable bag riders. All right, guys, got Randall here from Bragg and Rice Precision, and got my partner over here, Jim Miller. And we're Miller. reloading journey. Yeah, we're reloading journey. And we got our friends Steve and Dave here, and we thank them for their time, and wanted to get these guys out there, 
get them some more customers, guys. Okay, good, let's, good. let's get these guys contact and get you some great products. We All right. It. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Just We're out.